down to the final eight of Euro 2024. Blockbuster encounters taking place this weekend. Panelli, we start off with Switzerland against Spain on Friday night. What are your thoughts? There's been uh, plenty of talk about Spain, Switzerland causing an upset of the tournament so far, not knocking out France. Mm. Thoughts? I think, I think that, that was definitely the biggest upset of the tournament. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I think whoever reaches um, the semi finals between the two teams will be um, a job well done. I mean, who would have predicted um, the Spain team to yeah. make it all the way to the semi final or Switzerland? You know, beating France, I think for me, um, Switzerland deserve credit, they deserve um, respect. It mm -hmm. wasn't a fluke. I know most people think penalties, but 3 yeah. 3, and you know, I mean, you, you were 3. 3-1 down with like uh, uh, 12 minutes to go and you still managed to score two goals against France and you also missed a penalty but you didn't drop your head so it tells you um, a lot about um, the Swiss team. I think I'm going to be siding with them. F for Spain, yes I know they've, they've been playing some attracting mm -hmm. um, football. They've been very good um, catching um, on, on the eye but yeah I think when it comes to defending and and finishing um, the job up front. I know they've scored um, 10 goals in the last two games, which is sure. super incredible, but I don't really rate um, the, the strike force. Yes, they've scored the goals. Sounds crazy after that. It, stats, sounds, yeah. it sounds crazy, but I mean, with, with the proper defense, you can actually um, close them down. So I'll be siding with Swiss. What about uh, Belgium and Italy? For me, blockbuster of the of the round so far. Two of the biggest teams, two teams who are capable of winning the tournament. Yeah, definitely. Belgium coming to this as favourites, I think. Yeah, should be. I mean, there's been a lot a lot of talks about um, Italy since the group stages, Italy and Netherlands, mm -hmm. but I've, I still stand that um, Italy were, haven't been um, tested. I, I, I thought they'd walk past um, Austria, but mm -hmm. they needed extra time. That tells you there's no easy games. Even Netherlands also, I, I put them in the same bracket um, as Italy. I mean, yeah. when they were knocked out, I believe they weren't really tested. So I think this is the first um, test um, for, for the Italians. I know most people are citing them to be um, going all the way. They like how they've been defending, how they've mm -hmm. been attacking. But coming up against Belgium, I mean, what we saw against Portugal um, says a lot. Those hazards. I think they were buzzing. Hazardous right? behavior. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I know I know. Ronaldo said um, Couture mm -hmm. was lucky on the day. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need a bit of luck, but yeah, I think... Uh, me, Belgium, for me, will, will will progress and make it all the way to the finals. Well, the number one ranked team to go through. Mm. Sounds good on paper. Czech Republic against Denmark. What are your thoughts there in Saturday's encounter? Another one. I mean, whoever progresses, yeah, it's a job well done. I mm -hmm. mean, imagine Czech Republic in the Euros um, semifinals with teams like France and Portugal all knocked out. You know what I mean? And 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 either one between um, Belgium and Italy will be knocked out and you mm -hmm. have like a Czech Republic um, surviving, some, something like that. You know, it's, it's good a good story. It's a good story. Story, you know, so yeah, I, I think um, they've done well in this uh, tournament. Haven't put a foot wrong. Um, I like um, Sheik up front. I think he's yeah. been absolutely amazing. I like how they've been defending. Also, I'll, I'll side with them. I think um, this is um, the bank of the round. Yeah, bank of the round in the quarterfinals. Mm. You say? Yeah, I think so. I think Czech Republic all the way. Bold call, but obviously our attention does turn to England. Obviously, the most talked about team. You know, they've been playing all of their games at Wembley. This time they're going to be in Rome against the Ukrainian giants. Tough one tough one. I mm -hmm. think um, them not being at Wembley kind of um, puts, um, gives a little bit of a chance to, to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. If the game was at Wembley, I'd say no chance, you know. Ukraine survived as one of the third best um, teams. Yeah. Uh, who would have thought they'd make it this far? Beat Sweden, scored two goals against a very, very tight um, Swedish yeah. defense. So if you can do that up against a team that hasn't considered a goal, you, you I know you'll be having six defenders in front of you, um, two key um, holding mm -hmm. midfielders, so defending with eight, you know, <laughs> that's the story. I think Usosokate, I like what he does, he goes to the ground not to lose more yeah. than going to, to win. You said you like that? I like that, I mean, um, it's, it's been working, you know. Mm -hmm. Avoid defeat, then you can um, frustrate the opponent and, and, and then look for something. But in a game like this against Ukraine, you'll be expected to go um, to the field mm -hmm. um, ex uh, for a win instead yeah. of um, defending. So is he going to change the approach? We don't know. But uh, What do I you think? I, 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 it's, un, it's unpredictable uh, what, with him. I mean, uh, what, what he's been doing in this tournament has been um, full of surprises. If he if he, is, he wants to start uh, Trippier as a left back, he will start him. He, he just looks at his team and he looks at the opponent and uses... And just picks random names, it seems. I wouldn't say random, but he uses whoever that he thinks is suitable for, 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 the, for, for, for that game, you know. So mm -hmm. he's, he's been full of surprises. But I'd say start Grealish, then you've got a, a big chance um, in, in this game. England should should progress in this game. I mean, it would be a massive upset to more more than the Iceland one if, if they don't make it think to, so. to, to this one. I'm saying that simply because, mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at um, the way to the final, everyone is expecting yeah. them to be uh, to go all the way to the final. And the semifinals and finals are played at Wembley. So if they bottle this one, I think it would be 
more painful than the Iceland one? No, not for me. Andrei Shevchenko coaching the <laughs> tournament. Hopefully, <laughs> Ukraine uh, get through to the next round just because of my self agenda that I have to push. But yeah, that's the thoughts of Panele Pico and myself, Chase and Eagle. Tune in for more Euro content next week. Panele, till next time. Sharp, sharp. Go England. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> For more soccer betting tips and previews, get the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 red at your nearest Hollywood Best Branch or news agent.